What is up? What's up? What is up? FS Club, FS Daily News. Hopefully, you guys are all an amazing Tuesday. We have a lot of news to go over today, guys. If you haven't already done it, make sure you guys spend the comment section below hashtag FS Daily News. Like always, guys, if you are watching this on Premiere, let's try for 110 likes. So smash that like button. Also, if you're watching this after, we blew past 1,000 likes yesterday, guys. Let's try for 1,100. I know that's a lot, but we can do it. Okay, let's get to that news. Okay, so the first bit of news, the following mod has been removed from the mod hub on PC. No reason has been given yet, uh, but yeah, the vent map is gone. I didn't even get to try it. <laughs> I know something. somebody was talking about like you get to drive go-karts and everything on it. Dang it. Okay, the next one, guys. Here we go. Coming soon from NMC modding the John Deere 948 LLL. Looks really good. I cannot wait for this. This looks really, really good. Okay, the next one, guys. From Sid modding the John Deere 7R, today he has finished the programming of the cab, the lights, and things to choose from in the store. He still has a little bit of work to do on the model, but most of it has been done already. Also today he made corrections on the 8R and the 8RX, guidelines that he got from Giant Software so that modifications could appear there for all platforms. So yes, cannot wait for these. These look amazing. Okay, the next one to go over is SMI Modding. Really, really good modding company. They are now partnered with Giants. So congratulations to SMI Modding and Mateo over there at SMI Modding. Very, very good right there. Okay, the next thing, guys. Lancy Boy, Lancy Boy. Two Gal Barns are now ready for his new maps. These are the two pictures of them. They look good, too. Uh, remember, he's making an English map on this one. So Stone Valley, American map, and now he's going to go back to an English map. Then he's going to switch off and on. So there is that one right there. Next one, JHHG modding. The John Deere DB9036 Row 30s. The proper model is 100% done. Udom is 100% done. Decal is 100% done. Programming and scripting is 95% done. And dynamic hoses is 70% done. So this looks really, really good. He also spoke to Giants about one thing and guess you will like it. More info this week. So I wonder what that is right there. But yeah, this is supposed to be also coming to consoles too. So nice. A John Deere uh, Cedar. So that is awesome right there. Okay, next one, guys. This is, of course, we got an update today, a big update. We got two big updates today. Today's update was the first one is for the straw harvest, a massive patch, guys, for all platforms. Uh, here is some of the change log. Uh, they fixed the issue with the season semi dry, dry grass, fixed swapped filled type HUD icons for the pallets, fixed issues with visible bail count text when the HUD is invisible, stuff like that. Also, the additions uh, they added compensation pallets on the mixer wagons, added work lights to the bell collect, added mixing decals to the HDP, added support for dynamic mounted objects for the crane tool to avoid objects intercepting because of mood physics. Uh, they allowed selling bulk pallets at the selling stations that support Hayer Straw. So there is that right there. There's a big old list. If you guys go to the FS Club on Facebook, you guys can see the full change log on that one. Okay, speaking of updates, there was also an update for Farming Simulator today. The new patch is now live. And of course, this patch, the 1.6, some of the stuff it added. Added recommended mods category in game, in -game uh, mod hub. So if you guys go to the in game mod hub, you can see actually a recommended tab. Uh, fixed missing packets if the connection to daddy servers, that's for PCs. Uh, fixed uh, bailing issues on the dedicated servers for PC. Added missing UI text for the JCB4220. Adjusted tire size of the New Holland T8. Adjusted water trigger on the Joskin Tra Aquatrans 7300. Uh, adjusted spawning hoses on the JCB Fast Strike 8330. Uh, fixed pickup wheel not moving on the New Holland Roll Belt 150. Fixed decals on the Challenger MT975E. Fixed speed display on the Steer Tiris. Uh, just a max open angle of the New Holland W190D tool. So there is a lot on that change log, guys. Uh, so two big updates today. No new mods, though. No new mods. But, of course, we do have the uh, mods and testing. So let's go over those mods and testing, guys. Okay, on the PC side, we have closed cow pasture, dairy cow pasture, Fuhrer KH4S, flat top ridge logging map, Large Silo, Little Norton by GB Modding, MCF 530 Pack, New Holland CR 990, 
NMC Griffin. NMC Griffin Semi. Order Menu. Pack Mini Silos Feeds, uh, Seeds and Fertilizer. Shed Spanish with Workshop. The Parades. Ursus Cabani by Sig. CDTPU12. CDTPU7. So that is on the PC side. Now on PS4 and Xbox One, we have Cattle Pasture. Gardler Avant 45. Kroger TAW30. Lizard 3 Point Hitch Draw Bar. Mower Pack. Open Cow Pasture. Open Horse Pasture. Refillable IBC Tank Magic Fill. And last but not least is the SIP TG35. So that is all the mods that I'm testing. That is all the news for today. A lot of updates today. Number of mods waiting to be tested is 226. So it's way over 200 now. Current average waiting time is six work days, guys. So six work days. So that is all the news. That is everything for today. Let me know what you guys are excited about. Remember, guys, no stream tonight, guys. This is the last video for today. Remember, streams will start again back tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. FS Daily News tomorrow. If we get new mods tomorrow, of course, I'll be doing a new mod showcase on that. So hopefully, you guys do have an amazing day. Hopefully, we hit over that 110 likes, guys. Remember, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have a sun, make sure you guys do, like always. Have a nice day, farmers. Peace.